Okay, good evening, welcome to... Oh, you're at number 658. Number 658. So the, the shapes on the on the board right now, are they are they in good view? Yes. In screen? Okay. These are the shapes from our old Kelsey Houston Edwards um, video about a four-dimensional cube, taking slices of a four-dimensional cube. And what was, what was special about these slices? Well, you had to put the four-dimensional cube on its edge. Okay. Like on, like standing on edge, yeah. Uh, more than an edge. I, I think it was a corner. Yeah, corner. standing on a corner. And as that shape passed through, you got first you got a tetrahedron, a tiny one, mm -hmm. then a bigger tetrahedron. But then the tetrahedron started deforming, and right in the middle, what did you get? An octahedron. An octahedron. And then as it passed further through three space, it deformed. I don't know if this is a deformed octahedron or a deformed tetrahedron. What do you think? Looks like a truncated tetrahedron, sort of. Thing. Yeah. Cut off. Put this tetrahedron in a way. That octahedron? That octahedron, yes, yeah, sorry. In a way that would. Um. Let's see. I guess. Well, these um, corners, these little triangle pieces, would become the octahedron. Right. So you think that's it? Yeah. Like you can see, like this triangle piece corresponds to there. What, what corresponds to the top? The top. Ah, uh, okay. So it's being the, the top's being shrunk down. You think? Yeah. Okay, then it becomes a, tet a tetrahedron eventually, and then it shrinks to a smaller tetrahedron. Now, we just did a project uh, based on, um, on something I saw from the same collab in Alexander Bogomolny, where we had some equations that became this shape, which is called what? A rhombic dodecahedron. A rhombic dodecahedron. So I'm going to move that. shapes out of the way, because I probably need to zoom out. Um, Rhombic dodecahedron came from, from the making these shapes. Act, absolute value of x plus y is less than or equal to 1. Absolute value of y plus uh, z is less than or equal to 1. And Absolute value of x plus absolute value of z plus one. So this is our three-dimensional yeah. shape. I want to do the same project today as we did before in four dimensions. All right. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to talk about what the new equations might be and what we think the shapes are going to look like. All right. All right. Okay.